Hey guys and welcome to the Blue Bridge and today I'm going to be talking about why selling players for pure profit may soon become a thing of the past and I'm going to touch on this um, Victor Oshiman story. <laughs> So before I get to the main topic of this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about Victor Oshiman to Chelsea. This news has resurfaced again. Is is it on? Is it off? Is it on? Is it off? Um, Fabrizio Marano, uh, Romano has been very consistent in this. Is that um, Chelsea like the player? They're interested in him, but they won't. They, they don't want to pay over the odds, and his wages are an issue. But some reports, especially in Italy, it says that um, the uh, Napoli directors are in England trying to sort out a deal, some sort of swap deal, which is, involves Lukaku. It won't be like a swap deal, you know, we'll give them money. Um, they'll, they'll give us money for Lukaku deal and they want Kassadai apparently as well. And then we all, we can take Oshimen for uh, 60 million euros, if the reports are to be be believed so um and you've got some some in the nose jumping the gun saying that um Oshman has agreed terms with Chelsea and they just need the deal to be ironed out between us and Napoli um and there's people don't learn though because everyone's getting excited I've seen teams already with Oshman in there and everyone is like talking like it's a done deal guys it's not a done deal yet there's plenty of twists and turns that can go on in this deal um, as we saw with the Conor Gallagher one, even when you do take a medical and you sign preliminary contracts until all the contracts have been signed, sealed and delivered, then nothing, take nothing for guarantee, for granted, sorry. So you know what? I'm staying clear of this story at the moment, although I've just reported on it, so yeah. But I'm not be believing anything at the moment and not saying that it's a done deal because we've seen it with Elise before, we've seen it with others. So I've learned from my past mistakes and I'm not going to get carried away or, you know, say, you know, put him into teams and say he's going to go straight into my fantasy team or whatever because the deal hasn't been done. So that out of the way now. So what I'm going to be talking about now is um, this pure profit because that's that's like a buzzword going around at Chelsea at the moment is pure profit, selling our academy players for pure profit um, to balance the book, etc, etc. But you know what? It can't last forever. So I think this season is going to be the last pure profit or maybe next season at the at the, the very most. And I'm going to tell you why. Because at the moment, the, the rules are, you know, come the end of the transfer window, you're going to have to name 25 players for your squad. In which 17 of those have got to be um, not, um, only 17 can be um, non-homegrown players. And the other eight have to be homegrown players. So um, we can't, you know, this is, at the moment, is the situation. We have 19 non-homegrown players on our books in the first, what you can say is the first team squad. Um, although some of them, are, you know, those who come back from loan are included in this tally as well. But it's not all doom and gloom. There is a lot of wriggle room because out of those 19 that I've mentioned, we've got three of them who are under the age of 21. So they don't count as non-homegrown because of their age. So that's Gusto, Guayi and Washington. Gu Guayi, keep forgetting, I'm not doing his name properly, but those three, but as they get older, they will then become homegrown. And there are at least four, five players on that list who will not be at Chelsea any longer. If it's not this season, it's going to be the season after. You heard me talking about Lukaku earlier, so we're trying to um, get rid of him from the team. He doesn't want to be here, so he'll be going to Napoli or somebody else, but he won't be here come the end of the window. Kepper is another one, a bit more difficult to shift. He was Saudi was looking good for him, but we don't know anymore. But Kepper may be included in the Napoli deal if we can get that one. There's talk about that one as well. So Kepper will be off the books. Um, Dapre Fafana has already got offers here and abroad, so he'll be going. I don't think he'll be counted anyway because he's not. Was he 21 or nearly 21? I can't remember his age. But so he'll be off the book. Cassidy definitely wouldn't have been counted as a homegrown, um, non-homegrown anyway because of his age as well. But there's talk, as I said previously, that he's may be included if we actually do a deal with Napoli. And Petrovic. Petrovic, now he's going to be 
um, fourth in the pecking order for goalkeeping. So I just can't, he's, he's looking for another club. So that's it. So that leaves us with all those players I've just mentioned, that leaves us with 11 homegrown players. So that gives us wriggle room to, so if we do get an Oshiman coming in, if we do get a Jao Felix coming in, for instance, then we still have room for another three homegrown players. Um, non-homegrown players, sorry. But if I go down the list now and I look at all the, the homegrown players, so remember I said we needed eight. So at the moment we've got, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15. Got 15 at the moment, so yeah, we're all good. But some people are saying, oh yeah, let's get rid of this player, let's get rid of that player. Chilwell is somebody who hasn't played a lot of minutes in um, under Maresca, so he's a name muted to be going, so that's one down. We've got um, Chukumeka, who, who Crystal Palace are looking at strongly and probably want to make a bid for two down. Gallagher, we know, was close to joining Atletico. It looks like that deal may go through if we can sort things out, so that's one who's definitely going to go. If he doesn't go um, to um, Atletico, you'll go at the end of the window, maybe, or next year, so that's another one down. Sterling, apparently, some reports are saying that we want him out as well. So that's another one down. Shalabar definitely going. He's not training with the first team and he's been told to look for another club. And Broha is another one who has been told to look for another club. So pure profit we're getting from the likes of Shalabar, Broha and Gallagher. Chukwemeka we probably would look to make a profit on. Chilwell and Sterling, they do go. That makes a bit of a loss. So that is, I mentioned, what, seven players? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if those six players go, then we are then left with just um, eight homegrown. Well, that leaves us better nearly. He's not getting any younger. So how long is he going to stay? I know that we brought him in just to meet that homegrown quarter and he's, gonna, he's our third choice goalkeeper anyway. Sanchez may surprise you. He plays for Spain, but he um, came over here at the age of 15. He's got an English father, so he counts as homegrown. Reese James, obviously. Colwell, Tosin, probably that's why we bought him as well, because he gets he's added towards our homegrown quota. Then we've got um, Alavia, um, Cole Palmer, Jews be all, another reason we probably bought him homegrown. So those are the ones that we have left. If, the others who are rumoured to um, we want to sell or get rid of. They, so those are the ones that we'll be left with. So that's um, eight we've left with. So the season after that, say that um, they say, OK, we want to do more pure profit. Let's get rid of Reese James. He's, you know, quite, you know, if he can stay fit, big money to be had by the likes of Real Madrid or something. Let's get rid of Cowell as well. Again, a well sought after defender. Um, and so we get rid of those two, then we're left with six. We're only left with six homegrown and we need eight, as I said, in the squad. So what, what that does, we either promote um, a youngster, but as I said, they're not counted yet because of their age, or we just go into the season with, with less players. We've done that before, I think, when we didn't reach our homegrown quota. So um, that's why we can't keep selling off academy players for pure profit, because as I said, it's going to be an issue later on down the line when you need to fill those those eight, eight positions. So I think that it's been a bit manic and hectic in the last couple of seasons under the new owners. But I do believe that things will settle down for us um, come next year. Because when we get the likes of Esteval, Williams and Paez in, because we're buying a lot of younger players, so those slots will be... Um, non-homegrown places will be, will be filled that so we can't just keep buying and, and, and especially buying abroad because some people have said Chelsea will sell homegrown and they use it to buy Brazilians and South Americans and people abroad but when you think we've got Ansel Mino coming in as well so when you look at it um, and the, the uh, Coley is it the guy the American guy on, on loan so if you look at the players that we've got on loan or, or coming in then that quickly fills up that um, non-homegrown quota. So remember, it's 17. 17 is, is the maximum. These players are still quite young as well, so it's not as if someone going older, they'll be sold on. So, yeah, so that's why, as I said, we'll just need to be a bit more more clever and the, the, the insanity is going to stop and things will calm down. That's my opinion. So I hope that all makes sense to you. And so let me know what you think. Um, and would there be any other homegrown players you're thinking of selling or do you think someone like a Sterling... 
should be kept a because he's homegrown b because of his experience or is he someone that you'd like to get rid of Chukameka is another one is he going to get enough game time for for Chelsea we don't know um so Kellyman's another one I didn't mention because he's 18 anyway but he's coming from Aston Villa so he counts as a homegrown if he proves to be a good player then he may get promoted uh, later on down the line so that may um offset the, the selling of Chukameka if we do sell him so we are making some plans for for future for the future. Anyway, guys, so that's the end of this video. So let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, so you're notified every time I make a new video. So take care. Bye bye.